My name is Jennifer Troush. I'm a graduate of the Cleveland Institute of Art from the photography department. I used to work for Polaroid. They used to own this studio. They decided to stop producing film. And during that time, Polaroid kind of went under. And so we got an investor and started our own company with the remaining stock of film. I am currently running the 20x24 studio, home of the 20x24 Polaroid camera in Tribeca, Lower Manhattan. We are the only people with 20x24 film. My position is Director of Photography, where I do all of the technical work on the camera for anyone that rents it. So there are five original cameras. The three of the cameras are available for rental in Prague, San Francisco, and New York. When it was invented, Polaroid actually introduced people to come and, and experiment on it. Chuck Close was one of the first. He often works here, but other artists like Julian Schnabel or Mary Ellen Mark prefer to work in their own space. So I started painting around 10 and it didn't really fit in in like the prep school, all girls school. So it wasn't really until I got into CIA that um, everyone realized that it was a good fit and that I was in the right place. For me, the community was actually the most important part of it, learning to actually talk about your work and really get it out there. You definitely meet within your department and then you, you have other classes that, you know, you meet with a, a larger crop of people that are working in all different mediums. And I think that is actually really important to get out of your medium, see how other people are thinking about a picture. The foundation program in general, just kind of uh, making sure that you have a basis in all of the arts, gives you a mix of the technical with the conceptual. It's like you have to know how to have ideas and, and work through those ideas and you have to know how to do that on camera systems. A lot of the things I learned have just paralleled into the job. My job has always been interlaced with my personal work. I just drove south with the camera one day when uh, I had a cancellation and I just started shooting. It was really wonderful to just to find things again, to just go with a camera and see what, what stories you could tell. This current project in the South is to try and place you somewhere so that you actually feel the heavy humidity of the South or you know you hear the rustling of the leaves. All of these reactions as a viewer, that's just something I've always been really aware of. I'm just finishing up, so I've been meeting with publishers and galleries and museums. I always tell younger students that you kind of have to know what you want because there's just so many options. As long as I continue to make work, that's my goal for life.